Have you ever been disappointed by a hyped tourist attraction? We've all been there feeling a pang of disillusionment when the reality doesn't match the glossy brochure photos. This video is your guide to some of the world's most overrated tourist traps. We're going to take a deep dive into those attractions that just might not be worth the long queues, the elbowing crowds, or the inflated souvenir prices. And it's not all doom and gloom. We're also here to offer some alternative suggestions. We're talking about off-the-beaten-path destinations, places that offer more authenticity, and experiences that truly encapsulate the spirit of the location. The kind of places where you can soak up the local culture without being jostled by a sea of selfie sticks. So buckle up fellow wanderers, stay tuned to find out which tourist attractions might not be worth your time and money. Let's embark on this journey of discovery together. First on our list, the Mona Lisa in Paris's Louvre Museum. Now don't get me wrong, the Mona Lisa is a masterpiece of Renaissance art, a symbol of cultural finesse that Leonardo da Vinci himself crafted. But let's talk facts. It's a smaller painting than you'd expect, measuring a mere 30 inches tall. So, when you finally fight your way through the throng of eager tourists, you might find yourself squinting at a masterpiece that's surprisingly petite. As for the throngs of tourists I just mentioned, they're a story of their own. The Louvre is the largest art museum in the world, and the Mona Lisa is its star attraction. On any given day you'll find a sea of people, each waiting for their moment with the enigmatic lady. The queues can be long, winding and frankly a little overwhelming, not to mention once you've navigated your way to the front you'll find yourself standing behind a barrier, a good several feet away from the painting. And let's not forget the bulletproof glass she's housed behind. So, really you're not just battling crowds, you're also contending with a barrier and a protective layer of glass. But here's the thing. The Louvre is a treasure trove of art and history. It's home to over 35,000 works of art, spread across nearly 15 acres. So, while everyone else is jostling for a glimpse of the Mona Lisa, why not take the road less traveled, explore the lesser visited galleries, lose yourself in the intricate sculptures, or marvel at the ancient Egyptian artifacts? There's so much more to the Louvre than just the Mona Lisa. And let's not forget, Paris is a city of art. The Musée d'Orsay, the Centre Pompidou, the Musée de l'Orangerie, all these offer rich, immersive experiences without the elbowing crowds. So if you're in Paris, consider broadening your horizons beyond the Mona Lisa. You might just discover a side of the city's art scene that's more rewarding, more intimate, and far less crowded. Because isn't that what travel is all about? Discovering new things and creating unique experiences? Next up is the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. Now don't get me wrong, the tower is a feat of medieval engineering and it's certainly a sight to behold. However, the experience of visiting can often be less than stellar. Imagine this. After a long journey, you find yourself standing in a seemingly endless queue, waiting to get a glimpse of this famous architectural anomaly. Once you've finally made it to the front, you're hit with the reality of inflated ticket prices. You pay up, because well, you're here now, right? Then you're ushered through rather quickly, because there are hundreds more waiting for their turn. You barely have time to appreciate the tower's unique tilt, which by the way was not intentional but is the result of a poorly laid foundation, and then, there's the sea of tourists, all jostling for space, trying to capture that iconic holding up the tower photo. It's a spectacle of its own, but probably not the cultural experience you were hoping for. But don't be disheartened. Pisa has so much more to offer than just its leaning tower. The city is brimming with historical sites like the Pisa Cathedral and the Baptistry that are equally impressive and far less crowded. Plus they offer a deeper insight into Pisa's rich history and artistry. And if you're willing to venture a little further, the city of Florence is just an hour away. Known as the birthplace of the Renaissance, Florence is packed with world-class museums, stunning architecture, and delicious Italian cuisine. It's a cultural feast that offers an authentic Italian experience, far removed from the tourist trap of the Leaning Tower. So while the Leaning Tower of Pisa might be an iconic image of Italy, remember that it's only one part of the story. Italy is a country steeped in history and culture, and there's so much more to explore than just its Leaning Tower. Remember, there's more to Italy than just the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Third on our list is Times Square in New York City. This place is a whirlwind of flashing billboards, costumed characters, and throngs of tourists with their cameras pointed to the sky. It's the kind of place that can make you feel like you've landed in the middle of a movie set. But let's pull back the curtain and see what's really going on. 
Times Square is often so overcrowded that it can feel like you're swimming in a sea of people. You can expect to be shoulder to shoulder with strangers, trying to navigate through the crowd while avoiding the countless selfie sticks poking out from all directions. The sheer number of people can make it almost impossible to enjoy the scene, let alone see the ground you're walking on. And then there's the bombardment of advertisements. It's as if every square inch of Times Square is screaming for your attention. The flashing lights, the blaring music, and the towering billboards all compete to draw your eye. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and disoriented amidst the sensory overload. But New York City is much more than just Times Square. There's a richness and depth to the city that you simply won't find amidst the hustle and bustle of this tourist trap. Step away from the bright lights and you'll discover a city brimming with culture and history. Why not explore the charming streets of Greenwich Village with its bohemian spirit and historic brownstones? Or cross the iconic Brooklyn Bridge and find yourself in a borough known for its vibrant art scene and eclectic food offerings. Perhaps you could spend a day in Central Park, lose yourself in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, or catch a show on Broadway. From the High Line's elevated green space to the bustling markets of Chinatown, there's always something to see and do. New York City is filled with gems, so don't limit yourself to Times Square. It's a city that's meant to be explored, with each neighborhood offering its own unique slice of the Big Apple. So go ahead, step off the beaten path and discover the real New York. Let's recap what we've discussed today. We've taken a closer look at the Mona Lisa in the Louvre, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and Times Square in New York City. While these attractions are indeed iconic, they often come with overcrowded spaces, long waiting times, and inflated prices. The Mona Lisa, though a masterpiece, often leaves visitors jostling for a glimpse behind protective barriers. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, on the other hand, is a quick photo opportunity amidst a sea of equally leaning tourists. And Times Square, while undeniably vibrant, often feels like a commercialized frenzy rather than a cultural experience. But remember, travel is not just about ticking off the biggest attractions, it's about immersing yourself in the culture, discovering hidden gems, and creating unique memories. So, why not explore the lesser-known museums of Paris, the charming countryside of Italy, or the diverse neighborhoods of New York City? Remember, sometimes the road less traveled can lead to the most memorable experiences. Safe travels.